I've been in Colorado for about a week now and I fished three amazing streams. This video will be on the third stream in this series. So if you missed parts one and two, head back and check those out or there's an extended video with all three in one video. Hope you enjoy it. So I've just spent the day on an amazing stream in Colorado when the weather builds a little bit, get some thunderstorms, some clouds, some lightning, decide to uh, pack up, get in the truck. And as I'm driving out, I find this amazing plateau and down below that, I kind of see a, that there's a stream. So my plan is just to camp out on this amazing spot tonight, uh, avoid the weather, stay out of the wind, and get up the next morning. And if the weather is cooperating, I'll hike down and fish this stream. Never seen the water before, don't know what's there. Uh, it'll be the first time though that I've actually been able to camp in a spot and not have to make the drive the next morning. So I'm kind of excited about that. If the weather is terrible, I'll just make my way out, go check the weather. And I have some other options, uh, some basically plan B and a plan C, and, but they're all weather dependent. So I need to wait and see. Okay, so the temperature has dropped quickly. That cold front must be pushing quick. And the wind is, it's gotta be like 40. <laughs> it's, it's howling out here. So I'm doing chili for dinner. Probably grab some Oreos. It's actually calmed down just a little bit. Hopefully, it'll it'll calm down. Although I don't mind it now I'm sleeping. I like the little rattle in the truck, but trying to cook, like keep a flame going, and I'm definitely not cooking a, a full meal tonight. So, and I don't feel like eating a backpacking meal, so I have a can of soup, steak and potato. I thought I had another one here or something. Chicken noodles. Yeah, chicken noodles. So, if I'm still hungry after the can of chili and have a little cheese, over um i'll do that but basically i'm just gonna try to i'm re i moved my truck to get out of the wind a little bit the way i had it before it was like blowing right into me so over here i have a little bit of windbreak so it's kind of nice so i've been sitting out here it's uh it's already dropped to like 50 degrees and it was 72 when i got here or maybe 68 either way it's dropped a lot so anyway i'm gonna get here for a little bit and then get up in the morning drive to the first place I can get cell service and check the weather. I have a couple places in mind, depending on what the weather's gonna be like, uh, and my desire to drive long distances. So we'll see where I end up. What the? So tonight, just hanging out beside the truck, have some chili, try to stay out of the wind, yeah. and uh, just enjoy these amazing views. This is this is what Colorado is about. Just lots of dispersed camping, yeah, lots of streams. Uh, and the thrill for me is the adventure, the unknown, the exploration. It's just trying to get out there and figure out, you know, those wild spaces. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the plan. And we'll see what happens. I get up the next morning. It's a beautiful day. Bluebird skies. The sun is coming up over the mountains. As soon as it hits you, you feel the warm up of like 10 to 15 degrees. Have some coffee, some oatmeal. Just sit out here and enjoy the day. You can kind of tell this is going to be a, it's going to be a good day. All right, good morning. It is absolutely beautiful out. I set my alarm for like 6.15. Got up, made some coffee, and I've just been sitting here. There's no clouds, there's no rain, so probably just gonna hike down the bottom of this hill and fish uh, and just stay here as long as I can, see what the weather does. But look at that view. I mean, sun just came up over the mountains there and hit me, and it instantly like felt like 20 degrees warmer, just like that. So check my truck when I got up and it got down to 32 last night so I've been sleeping good man this is a these are the places you want to wake up in the morning how awesome this is outstanding so I started my hike about 8 30 or so all right it's about 8 30 I'm sure the sun hasn't made it down to that valley yet so I'm sure the water isn't quite warm enough for the fish to be super active just yet but it's a good time to hike down gotta cross that plateau and then there's a little trail it look like. You can see there's some cattle down there. The hike down won't be so bad. It's gonna be coming out later. And I need to keep an eye on the clouds. So it's supposed to be a chance of some thunderstorms today. And we'll see. But this is the first time I haven't had to drive somewhere to start my fishing trip. So I'm kinda excited to just come down here and see if there's a I thought yesterday I drove I walked down here. Looks like there was a little trail, game trail, or maybe even a fisherman's trail. They made its way down, so that's the plan. Go down here and throw, start off with a hopper dropper. 
and hopefully catch some fish. There's his little trail I was talking about. Hopefully that doesn't just drop straight off, but I won't know until I go and see. Hopefully there's a way down. We're gonna find out. I figure there's a trail here for a reason. It's amazing. The views are the views are amazing. Lots of uh, high peaks. It's you know wide open, so you can see a long way. It's a uh, this is a cool stream. It's looking pretty uh, pretty good and pretty promising from the beginning. I'm excited. I'm not gonna go very far to start with. Just try to see if it's worth trying to get away from the truck. And I need to uh, find a couple good fishy uh, looking spots eerie. and just want to just test Absolutely the stream gorgeous. before I commit to any Man. distance. If it's not if it's not fishy, not it gives me enough time to get in the truck and start my drive early and uh, jump to the next plan. Let's see. The same rig I'm fishing yesterday, seven and a half foot three weight. And a good bend right here. I figure that's a good place to start. That's an amazing backdrop. I didn't see any blueprints. So like I said, I don't want to get too far before I give uh, this stream a look. So first hole I'll see that looks pretty fishy. I stop and I, I work the bottom of the section first, see if there's anything near that cub bank that wants to chase. And then I get up into the main section of the pool and I find uh, some really good fish. And I'm excited now because I wasn't expecting cutthroat. Man, starting day off a of cutthroat, that's freaking cool. cool thing about this pool is I come back to it towards the end of the day and I find a bunch of browns in it so this pool had a bunch of fish in it so to be within sight of where I hiked in that's confirmation this stream is going to be fishy okay so I fished I didn't want to walk too far before I had a chance to make sure there was fish here. My, th my thoughts are, without knowing what the weather is, and the last look I had was thunderstorms, to start walking down. And then be walking up to my truck, but I didn't want to do that without getting a good feel for the stream. So now that I know that, I'm gonna go ahead and just hike. Give it a little bit of uh, some work through here. If I make it to my truck, or where I came in at, I'll just keep going. But that way I'm not walking away from my truck. Just in case, like yesterday, when the storms come, man, they hit hard. That was, those winds were brutal. The rain never came, but it was not far away. So, saw tons of lightning in the distance. But, now that I know there's fish, let's hike down. Work our way back up, and then we'll continue going as long as I can. What a pretty stream though. Man, how awesome is this? It looks like there's a little trail over here. A little cattle trail. Good deal. That'll make it easier. Get to the first fishy looking run after walking downstream for about 45 or 50 minutes. Nice rock face here. Lots of uh, you know places for some fish to hang out. Got some shaded areas and some flow. So I feel like this is a good spot to start fishing. And pretty quickly I get into a nice little wild brown. Throwing a hopper dropper rig, same rig I was fishing yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, just my top shelf hopper in Pertigan. It's been a killer rig for me. I love hopper dropper rigs in the summer out west because fish are a lot more aggressive. 
And what I mean by that is they'll chase down their food. They'll move to the hopper or the dropper. Summertime out west, fish, uh, they gotta eat. I mean, these are small streams. They can't just be incredibly picky. So a good drift and you know anything that looks like a, a bug will probably get eaten. So that's why I like the hopper dropper rig. Continue fishing for the rest of the day. Just uh, you know, two hours in, probably caught ten or fifteen browns. As the uh, clouds build and it becomes a little more overcast, I notice that fish are they seem to be getting a little more aggressive. I see a couple fish rise, so I'm throwing my hopper, uh, and I get a couple fish swipe at it. So switched up to this hopper that I've been messing around with. It's kind of like a chubby, and Amy's aunt had a baby, so it's got a big old bubble head and two things of foam and a white wing and got some dubbing on the bottom some double barred simpy legs and this is a cool spot here i worked up and I, I felt like there would be fish on the side kind of closer to that willow was at and i flipped in there once and nothing happened flipped back in there a second time you can see this fish that. charge off the bank i mean that was a cool eat that's how you can tell like fish are they want to eat. I mean, you move that far for a hopper, that's a, that's a cool, what a great eat. Hey, what a brown acre hopper. I just do, continue doing the same thing, just flipping that hopper dropper rig up in any fishy looking spot. And I find a bunch more browns. It's a, it was, it was just a cool stream. Oh, he's looking at it. There he goes. He wanted it the hopper definitely want to come back and see it again it continues going up probably another 10 or so miles of um of water that i, I haven't i've never seen so I want to get back there and take a, a look at that i think they might find a few more cut through it if i was if i had some more time but the weather starts to build start hearing some thunder and lightning and you know in the distance and i'm like okay well probably time to go ahead and hike out i know i got to climb up that ridge and then i have probably two and a half two-hour drive out of this areas. wilderness area and then the closest spot i can get cell service and kind of start planning uh my plans um trying to make a transition okay so fishing was going good and i started seeing some lightning and thunder so it looks like the first little thunderstorm that i was expecting but man what a fun day so i'm gonna hike back up gotta climb this ridge and go up another one Pretty much all I got for this video. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button because the next three videos are gonna be in Wyoming.